In this video today, I'm going to be talking about three possible reasons of why your hot peppers might not be getting hot. And specifically today, we're looking at these jalapeno peppers. This is a jalapeno pepper plant. It's not all that big, but you can see there is a lot of peppers growing on there. And for size reference, there's a little butter tub down there. Not very big, so you can see the plant's very, pretty, pretty small actually. And the leaves on the top you can see are yellowing. That's a deficiency. And the reason why that is is because I have been putting water in this reservoir after these fruit have um, reached a mature size. So basically what I'm doing is flushing the plant of its nutrients. And we're gonna get into talking about why stressing the plant like this is the reason why your peppers get hot. The number one reason of why your peppers are not getting hot is probably because you're overwatering. And if you live in a wet climate and you're getting a lot of rain, there's not a whole lot you can do about that if you're growing outside. But indoors, you can water it less. However, in hydroponics like this, this is counterintuitive to trying to stress your plant. In hydroponics, there's one trick that you can do to stress the plant by underwatering. Let most of the water basically be absorbed by the plant and then don't add any more water for maybe a day. You'll see the leaves start to wilt and as long as the leaves aren't falling off and they're just slightly wilty, the plant is becoming stressed and what will happen is it will produce more capsaicin in the peppers. Capsaicin is what it causes the hot sensation in your mouth. Um, the capsaicin is a form of protection for the fruit and that will force the plant to produce that. If the plant is not stressed and you're just filling up your reservoir with water and keeping it full, it will not become stressed and it will not produce the capsaicin. The peppers here have absolutely no heat to them whatsoever. They taste like a green bell pepper, or at least they did uh, about a week ago. And that's when I started changing all this. So that is the number one reason is because your plant is overwatered. So it's a little bit tricky in hydroponics to, to let it dry out and then add water because you really, really got to pay attention to it. But if you're growing in soil, it's very easy. Uh, soil can dry out and become very dry and you can add water to it. It's a, it's a buffer and it's very easy to, very easy to be able to underwater it without killing the plant. In hydroponics is harder. So the second reason is because of heat. And I, I don't mean heat peppers, I mean ambient temperature. Ambient temperature is the second reason of why your peppers might not be hot. In my basement here, it is a constant 72 degrees all summer long. And it's not because I keep it at 72, it's just that's just the way it is. Um, it needs to be warmer ambient temperature for the peppers to get hot. So, you don't have to do all of these things I'm talking about, but you need to do at least one of these things to produce capsaicin in the peppers. In my case, I didn't do anything with the temperature, but it needs to be at least 75 degrees, probably closer to 80, degree, 80 degrees for your peppers to really produce the capsaicin. Um, heat is another form of stress for the plant. The third reason is because you could possibly be giving it too much nutrients and more specifically too much nitrogen. So when the plant is fruiting, if you're giving it a higher ratio of nitrogen, it's gonna produce more leaves and produce less in the fruit. So what you need to do is use a higher ratio of phosphorus and potassium, or you can use Epsom salt um, as an additive, but you need to change your ratio. And I know for some people who already know about growing plants, this is a given if you're in the fruiting phases of a plant, you know that you switch the nutrients at the fruiting phase. But for some people who don't know, you want to change the ratio. You want to give it less nitrogen and more phosphorus and potassium. And as you, as you can see here, as I was talking about before, the leaves are turning yellow here. That's because I added water to that instead of adding any nutrient solution. And that's causing it to have the deficiency, which is further stressing the plant. And as I said before, a week ago, these were not hot. And now if I taste them, they have heat. So that was one way for me to make these hot. Now, 
if you do all three of those things, the peppers are gonna reach their highest potential of heat. But if you do just one of those things, it's gonna make them hot, whether it be mild or medium hot. But if you want them to get as hot as possible, do all three of those things. And those are the three reasons of why your peppers might not be getting hot. I hope this video was helpful to some of you out there. Leave any comments or questions below, I'll get to answer them. If you're interested in these lights in, in particular, these are QG LED light strips. Uh, I did two other videos with these lights. They will be linked up here in the, at the end of this video. And you click on those to watch about these lights. Uh, very good lights, very happy with those. So that's it, thank you for watching.